All right, we are following some breaking news this hour right now with a live look in northern Israel. Rocket sirens sounding in a number of areas after reports of projectiles being fired from Lebanon. Again, a live look right now. Thanks for tuning in to the third hour of National Report. I'm Sean Kreisman. And I'm Emma Reckenberg. Let's get straight to Jody Cohen, our reporter who joins us now live from the, her phone. She's taking shelter as those sirens sound, so she won't be in front of the camera at the moment. Uh, Jody, can you tell us what's happening right now? Hi, Sean. Hi, Emma. Hi to everyone listening. So there has just been a mass rocket barrage across central Israel. I've been told that 180 communities have had to seek shelter, including in Tel Aviv, which is Israel's economic capital. The sirens uh, went across all of the center of the country. I was taking shelter in Laniado Hospital, which is where I've been reporting from today, and I heard loud booms overhead. Now, we know that the IDF have said that they have been attempting to intercept these rockets which have come from Hezbollah. We don't yet know if the IDF managed to intercept all of them, but we did hear loud booms overhead. And Muggin David Adom, which is Israel's equivalent of the Red Crescent and the Red Cross, they said that they have not as yet heard of any casualties. They haven't had any call-outs as yet. So right now, this is, of course, a breaking, uh, breaking news story, but we have heard that they have not yet seen any impacts or injuries, but obviously this is still breaking news so remains to be seen and um, what more comes out of this yeah jody cohen um stay sheltered jody we do appreciate that we're going to check in in just a bit um we're just getting word on on our end here that israeli military saying that three launches crossed from lebanon to israel and all three of those were in, intercepted again that just coming in right now again from a, israeli military officials um do you know jody how long this this shelter in place you mentioned 180 communities um, is that normal or is that something un unheard of in that area? No, this is a large scale attack. I mean, it, it has happened before. We have had um, sirens go off across northern and central Israel, but this is definitely a large scale attack. And when it's a larger, for example, a ballistic missile, it can put many, many communities just from one missile into shelters. Now, where I am in Netanya, we would have a minute and a half from when a siren sounds to, to seek shelter. But people who live, for example, next to Gaza, um, they have maybe 10 seconds to reach a shelter. And it could be as little as a few seconds for the people up north. That's why Israel has evacuated the communities on the northern border next to Lebanon because of the rocket fire that has been happening almost daily since the 8th of October when Hezbollah joined in Hamas's attack on the 7th of October. So that's why Israel has evacuated those communities. And that's why Israel added this fourth war goal, which is to return residents back to their homes in northern Israel. And Jody, we were describing red alerts. Uh, that, of course, might be unfamiliar for folks who are tuning in from the U.S. or wouldn't be aware of what's going on uh, with Israel and the alert system. Can you describe uh, how civilians and residents are notified? Right. So there's a few layers. First of all, you hear a siren in your area. So this is very specific. It will only go off if the rocket or the missile is actually headed to where you are. So if you hear a siren in your area, then you know you have to go and seek shelter. Then many people have downloaded um, what's called the uh, the Red Alert app onto their phone. So this also will tell you if a, if a rocket or a missile is headed to where you are, and it can pick up from the phone where you are, or you can add in manually the cities that you want to track. That will also alert you to go and seek shelter. And now the government has introduced a new system, which is that it automatically tells telephones in the affected areas to go and seek shelter. And, uh, for example, when Iran did its attack recently, um, we got notifications through that system for the first time, which was saying immediately go and seek shelter. So sometimes it can be immediate and you have to really, really go. And sometimes, you, you know, particularly in the center, and if it's a rocket, you might have a minute and a half to seek shelter. Yeah, just after uh, uh, 6 o'clock uh, Eastern time, or excuse me, local time as the sun begins to set there uh, across Israel and then a live look there in Lebanon, Beirut specifically. Jody Cohen, please stay safe. Thank you for that report. Joining us live by phone, having a shelter in place.